And a local legend is honored for his community service. You're watching ABC 12 News at 5. The Olympic torch is headed for Salt Lake City and a mid-Michigan runner who will carry it was honored this morning. The torch started in Atlanta on December 4th and will pass through Flint on January 6th. But before it gets here, Riley McClinshaw of Clio will carry it. McClinshaw was nominated by colleagues at Flint Truck Assembly. He'll carry the Olympic torch two-tenths of a mile January 3rd in Springfield, Ohio. I remember sending out a lot of emails telling everybody that I was picked and I'm going to get took care of the torch. Um, probably it's not going to, probably going to compare to actually when the moment comes when you put the torch in your hand and you're actually running with it. It's going to be, like, it's going to be quite exciting. You may remember Riley dribbles the basketballs throughout the entire 10 miles of the crim, makes all the other runners really mad. UAW Local 598 and the GM Truck Plant nominated McClinshaw because of his work with charities and schools. He also runs 30 to 40 miles a week. Santa the Olympic torch is making its way to mid-Michigan, but before it gets here, a local man will travel out of state to help it along the way. Leon Town has his story. NBC 25 News at 6 starts right now. And that's our top story tonight. The Olympic torch will make its way to Flint in just four days. But a local man will get his hands on it before then. NBC 25's Leanne Town is working the story tonight. She has the latest on a Clio man and his trip to Ohio to carry the torch. Leanne? Mike, although it's only two-tenths of a mile, one local man is truly honored to have been chosen to carry the torch. He's only one of a handful of mid-Michigan residents who were chosen to carry on the Olympic spirit in 2002. <laughs> to Riley. Americans were asked to nominate um, their friends and relatives and neighbors who um, inspired others, who uh, served their community and in, um, in kind of give the uh, spirit, the Olympic spirit. He believes he was chosen because he's known as the guy who dribbles several basketballs in the crim, which he's turned into an amazing way of saving lives. Through that I've um, got a recognition and following and I started to, uh, because of that, I started to uh, raise money for um, mostly cancer research. And I raised thousands of dollars for cancer research in the past five years. Thousands of heroes will receive medals in Salt Lake City, but torchbearers like Mr. McClincha finally feel like they're part of the Olympics themselves. And due to the events of September the 11th, putting that torch in his hand leaves him with a great sense of patriotism. When I take the torch in my hand, I'll definitely be thinking about people back here and uh, people in Genesee County, and people, especially I feel like I'm representing the running community here in, in Genesee County. In 97, he dribbled the Chicago Marathon, and two weeks later, dribbled the New York City Marathon. Dribbled a total of four marathons. In 97, he vol began volunteering as a mentor in the Beecher School host programs. Where he goes in and helps the, the children. In 1999, he graduated from the University of Michigan, Flint with high honors and a 3.97 in secondary education, grade point in secondary education, and plans to work as a science teacher upon his retirement. And that's all while working. I mean, he's done that while working. So, and that's just a list. I mean, I could, I'm sure I could find things in here that could add to that, but it's, as I said in the, in the opening things, it's, it's quite an honor to know you and, and work with you for these past years. And I uh, hate to see you go on, but I know you've got a lot to, to offer the rest of the community. Our union member and your accomplishments, I think that, I mean, it's just amazing. The things that well, you've been able things to that do. you do is remarkable. And uh, I just want you to know on behalf of the union, we're proud that you are the person that's representing us. I want you to know that. All right. A program we're in the UAW and GM wanted to identify people who inspired others, that uh, the things that they have done, the accomplishments that they have uh, made, the way they live, the way they work, uh, it inspires other people to be more team-oriented, to be dedicated, to be loyal, to be committed. And uh, we, heard, we heard Jerry read all that history. And there's no doubt we truly have uh, identified the right person. In our facility here, we had nine nominations. We had nine individuals that were nominated. 
and Riley uh, came out as the GWGM, winner. GWGM, the team behind the team, 2002 Torchbearer Program Certificate of Recognition. This is certified that Riley McClincha has been an inspiration to fellow co-workers by demonstrating outstanding teamwork, dedication, dependability, achievement, and leadership, and has therefore been selected to represent UAWGM as a torchbearer in the Salt Lake 2002 Olympic torch re uh, relay. With congratulations and pride, and signed by myself, Mike, Matt, and Doug Bellman. just yesterday. He's back home to tell a story. He is Riley McClinch of Clow. He joins me now and Seth, thanks for coming in and congratulations. Glad to be here, Mike, and it was a great time. I really got excited, especially when he handed that uh, flame to me, he jumped across and the person ahead of me onto my torch. I was, from there on, I was carried about three tenths of a mile and I was just all, I was just so high. Yeah. Everything you expected or more? Oh, so much more. Yeah. It just kept building, building like, um, from the day you, from the time you got up, I couldn't sleep that night. I only maybe got two hours of sleep. And you get on the bus with like ten other uh, torch bearers, and they drop you off. When it comes to the torch, you've got it with you. Let's yes. pick that bad boy up. That's the actual one you carried. Yep. What are your plans for that? Well, I didn't actually purchase this myself. My my plant um, where I work, the facility, my gym facility, uh, bought this for three hundred thirty-five dollars. Um, so I think I'm going to share it with them a little bit. Um, myself, I'm going to be going to some elementary schools and be showing it off there. And as far as I like to uh, give back to the plant and have them display it at the plant, maybe my local uh, union hall or 598. 